Hello everyone and welcome back to Hot Ticket. I'm Kevin Hornsby for Cox 11. Spring's around the corner and we know you're itching and thinking about getting a boat, getting out in the water, having some fun. And Pocosin's offering the second annual Inwater Boat Show and here today to tell us about that is Craig Brown, Dock Master of White House Cove Marina. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Chris Lee of Oyster Cove Boat Works and Yacht Brokerage. Thanks for being here, Chris. Thank you for having me. Craig, let's talk about second annual. Obviously, you had it last year. It must have been a rousing success. Yeah, we're excited to announce we've got some of the premier vendors on the peninsula on the south side mm -hmm. um, to include Oyster Cove Boat Brokerage, um, as well as Blue Water and yeah. Hampton, Norfolk Marine, Captain Max King um, Marine, as mm -hmm. well as Dare Marina. So. Okay, and what are folks going to be able to see when they come out? We're going to have an in-water boat show as well as an out-of-water boat show okay. with uh, a number of vendors underneath the tent. Okay. And it's free, open to the public. We're family and kid friendly. And why are we doing a boat show? The goal is to bring awareness to the White House Cove Marina and mm -hmm. let people know we're open for, open for business. Okay, as <laughs> well as the coast and waterfront. Absolutely. Yeah, and Chris, let's talk about what you're going to bring to the boat show. Well, last year was a big success, and we, we brought everything from a 52-foot Cabo all the mm -hmm. way down to an 18-foot center console. Okay. Um, I specialize in a lot of custom work with Seahawk boats mm -hmm. and do tidewater boats as well. Um, we also do a lot of repowers with Yamaha and Mercury, um, and we like to do a lot of custom touches of those too. So when people have questions about, you know, okay, it's easy to go buy a boat, but then when I need some maintenance or any things like that, coming to this would raise awareness for that as well. Is that correct? Yes, we're basically going to be a one-stop shop for you. There's no reason to go anywhere else. Okay. Craig, tell me a little bit about uh, how the city of Pocosin has really stepped up to not only raise awareness, but lowering the boat tax. That's got to be a huge deal. The city council recently voted on lowering the boat tax. They're currently at 75 cents per hundred mm -hmm. um, next year or the end of this year, right. January 1, they will be lowering the boat tax comparable to Hampton, we're told. So okay. um, that's a major deal for people's disposable income and mm -hmm. getting people back to Pocosin with the nicer size boats. Yeah. And for those that don't know about the Pocosin waterfront, we're going to look at some footage uh, of just how beautiful it is. And we're seeing that now. I mean, just look at that. What do you think folks should know if they're considering about where to dock a boat? We've got brand new floating docks in between 35 foot full length finger piers and we can house boats up to 100 feet. We've got 50 amp shore power. We've got free, a free pump out facility. We've got um, free wireless. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a brand new state of the art um, bath house facility and we just broke ground of a brand new uh, swimming pool so we're excited to announce that as well. Now the city's revamping a public boat ramp as well, is that correct? The pub public boat ramp at the end of Wrens Road mm -hmm. um, is free, open 24 seven. Okay. And you can not only launch a boat, but you can launch kayaks as well. And let's talk about a partnership with the Pocosin High School sailing team. We partnered up with the Pocosin High School sailing team to bring awareness to the waterfront and mm -hmm. get the young children in involved. Okay, and part of the goal of the boat show is to kind of get them young as well, is that correct? Absolutely, what we found is when you start young boating, mm -hmm. the, you end up a boater for life. It's in your blood after that. Absolutely. Huh? And talk about what kid friendly means with this boat show. Kid friendly means that it's it's free and, and we just want to get them out there, mm -hmm. you know, on the water, whether it's for a test drive or right. You know, we've got free handouts as well, and okay. the Pocosin Police Department will be there, and uh, they've got numerous items that the children can participate with. All right, so, and when is this going to be? It's going to be the weekend of April 26th. Okay, and Chris, talk about if someone is considering getting a boat for the first time, what they should know. We're going to be taking care of everybody from your first time boater all the way to your internet savvy that's going mm -hmm. up and down the East Coast that's looking for brokerage boats. Okay. Um, we got, we'll have your service taken care of, we'll mm -hmm. have uh, your repower taken care of. Um, so just basically anything you can kind of put their minds at ease and let them know that yep. this could be a good decision. Not to mention White House Cove Marina offers Surf Rider Restaurant for a great lunch and dinner every day of the week. All right, gentlemen, I want to thank you both for bringing us the information about this great event. And I want to encourage you, go to the website and check out the second annual Pocosin Boat Show for Hot Ticket. I'm Kevin Hornsby.